Okay, everybody, so today's episode, I'm gonna be making a really simple and easy to build chicken farm. So, last episode, I ran out of arrows in the nether, and that nearly killed me. So, this episode, I'm gonna be prepared, and I will make a ch The next time I go to the nether, I will be prepared, because I am making a chicken farm that will give me tons of chickens and tons of chicken eggs, so I can get tons of feathers to make a lot of arrows so when I go to the nether I will be safe so let's continue luring these chickens come on chickens ha come on you stupid chicken fall fall You're supposed to fall oh my god you are the ha ha. Okay, so what else I'll need for this project? So I will need one single sign. So let's make some wood. And the sign isn't for like displaying something. Just signs block water flow. So that will be convenient. And it's becoming night, and I don't feel like dealing with mobs. So I'll come in here, have a snack, and go to bed. Oh, I was trying to eat, but I ended up opening and closing the door because my house is way too small. Let's have a snack. Okay, okay. No, here's the chicken farm. So, no matter how they try, they can't get out. They're, they're stuck. They're screwed for life. No, they're not screwed for life. But. Let's see. Now I put a sign here. So now all the eggs the chickens lay will land here. And for now I'll just use this meat to breed them. And they will make love. So there will be more chickens in a faster time. So I've been making a reed farm here so I can make a full enchanting set. So that's just how you make a really simple, quick and easy chicken farm. Only takes a few seconds to set up, but it's super efficient. And it's probably the best chicken farm you can make in the game. Like, obviously, a bigger one would work faster. But that chicken farm I made was just simply for simple use, pretty much. Like, just for, like, conveniently go in and grab it. So, yeah, that's just how you can make a really simple, nice, and easy chicken chicken farm and yeah. So I need more space to plant reeds or just start collecting these and turning them into paper for my books because I've pretty much maximized um, the amount of like reeds I really need to get a really protective reed farm so I don't think I'll be using any more. So now that I've covered reed farm, and wheat farm, as well as chicken farm, you guys can suggest what farm you want me to do next, cow farm or something, but I'm going to be making a pig farm right now, just so I can get an easy source of food, because I don't really like eating bread. My bread farm, or my wheat farm, is mainly just to get things to breed animals with, so... It'll be a very small, simple cow pen, like, nothing fancy on the surface, just stuff. Because, you know, I don't always feel like caving, which is what I really need to do to start building underground, which is where I want to build. But the problem with building underground is you need to light up many caves so you don't get attacked by mobs while you're trying to build. So, here's a really cool tip for making your really cool... Pig pen. I know this is probably like a really small, cruel pen, but I think it's okay. So, here's just a cool way to get your pigs into your farm without using fence gates, and it's lots sim more simple and easy than other farms. So, like this, come on, come on. I call this an easy pig loader. Like that, you just have a block, 
and then a fence, and then they can come in, but they can't get out. Now you're like, how do I get out of here? Well, at first, if you want to get out, you're just going to have to do it the hard way, which is take a block, jump, quickly get out and break the block before the pigs come up. But here's another really cool thing I'm just going to show you. Um, a way that you can get out, but the pigs can't. So I'm just going to quickly do this, quickly, quickly. And where is it? I'm going to need a few more fences, just a few more. Just a few more, like maybe two. Okay, let's make that much more fences. Well, that was pro. And eat a pork chop. Oh, I'm eating your kind. And then... Why can't I place a fence here? Move. Move. Okay, that's better. And then... Let's do this. Digging up their pen here. Lol. I'm digging up their pen, but that's okay. E. Fence, fence, fence. Then just remove this fence in the very corner. So they can't jump this far. Well, they probably can, but I don't know if they can jump that far, but I don't think they can. But you can. You can jump this far. They're not smart enough to do that, but you are. So that's what you can do for a simple pig farm that you don't have to deal with, like, going in and out all annoyingly, but they can't escape because... They can't jump far enough. It is sometimes annoying when these things get really packed. You can't really jump very well. Well, they are still too stupid to get out. So you can just put a block here. That makes it a lot easier to jump out. And let's do some pig breeding. Ah, oh, now I have three pigs. And that easy loader system I made. like the, I call this the easy loader. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. It's also really good for getting new pigs in. Don't hold wheat when you're in a pig pen. Another really annoying thing is there pigs standing on your jump block. Then you can just push them away. And it's still really easy to use. And yeah. So. Well, that reed grew really fast. I wish reeds did grow faster. They'd grow pretty slow, but it's okay. So, let's make some more paper. Oh, is this going to be paper? Yes. And that's good for our first bookcase. It's one bookcase for Wade. Ha. Huh. Three books, one bookcase. I can just put the bookcase in the corner here, and it will have an effect on Mr. Enchanting Table, I think, I hope. So let's end off the episode with that. Let's make our first bookshelf ever. Dun da da da. Dun da da. So that's our bookcase. If you don't already know, what bookcases do is they provide higher level enchants. So now let's just say, I know this is, uh, I can't enchant an enchant. Let's enchant the stone axe. So I should be able to get a higher level if it's not blocked. Do you see that? I got a 6. There's another 6 there. So now I can get up to a level 6 enchant. So why don't I do a level 6 enchant on a sword? Let's make myself a brand new iron sword. Let's do a level 6. Let's see what we get. Let's do my special trick. Well, not my special trick. I didn't invent it. I learned it from someone else. But Okay, let's see how long it takes to get a level 6. Just one bookshelf. Even level 6 is pretty rare, I guess. Let's slow down a bit. Oh, like, there we go. No. Mwah.
a lot. Okay, that's a shitty sword, so whatever, guys. It's alright. I'll just do a level 3 on a pick now. <laughs> just hope we get something better. Because that was very not that exciting getting knocked back. So let's do a level 3 on a pick and see what we get. Okay. Efficiency 1, decent, decent. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.